Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm Richie from Team Punisher Airsoft UK and today we're talking about two of my favourite guns and how they've actually performed after kind of several months of playing with them and getting a lot of action. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the G&G ARP9. Um, this is about 180, 190 pounds in the UK. It's really a kind of starter gun, if you like, but for the money it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it has a MOSFET and the ETU system on it. It's full polymer. It'll work on um, either single shot, you have a three round burst or fully automatic on it. You've got a really good choice of magazines with this. So they do a very small 30 round magazine. They do a stick high cap magazine as well. And you can get G&G's drum mag for it as well, which is really, really good. Um, it's got an M-lock rail on it. It's got flip up sights on it. The charging handle actually doesn't really do anything. It does have um, an adjustable hop on it, of course, which you'd expect. Um, the actual kind of overall build of the gun is great, but the difficulty I find with it is fitting a battery in it, and therefore there's an aftermarket little adapter for the tube here that makes it that bit longer. The only difficulty with that is, other than being able to fit your battery in, it makes the gun very long at the back end when it's supposed to be a very small CQB weapon. As a gun, it's an absolute hooligan. It's really quick, it's really responsive, it's loads of fun, it's got an amplifier on the front, it's a really loud gun, but it's tremendous fun, and I'd, I'd really recommend anybody getting one. I like this so much that I bought the ARP556, which is its kind of big brother, if you like, but using a different magazine, so it's using your traditional M4 style magazine. For an extra 50 pound or so, the difference is you're getting a full metal gun. It still looks very similar, but again, it's an M-lock rail, you've got the ETU system in it again, you've got single shot, three round burst, but actually it's about 20 FPS or so more powerful and I'm finding it's a little bit faster. Again, it's got the amplifier on, so it's a really loud hooligan of a gun, but I'm finding indoors, in urban CQB environments, I'd rather play with this 250 pound gun than my 600 pound Chris Vector or my TM416 has got a Titan in it and the different things that I've got that I've spent a lot of money on actually I'd, I'd rather play with this so you can go out and buy a Scorpion Evo for example or the, the Chris Vector I think this is just as good for 250 pound and I know some guys in my team recently have got really excited about this and they've gone out and bought one here today a friend of mine's just taken delivery of one of these because he's so impressed watching this one in action. So we're going to go on to the range in a minute and we're going to fire these both. Um, we're going to get the chrono out so we're going to see how powerful they are, what the rate of fire is and uh, just give you a little comparison of these firing. So let's go and have a look. Okay so we're on the range now I'm just going to show you the gun actually firing and how loud it is and then we're just going to put them through the chrono test. So we're going to put the ARP9 first of all, put some little targets there, click it onto the semi And put it on full auto. And you're kind of winding that stick magazine up ready, which is great. So put that down, and this is the kind of big brother, so the 556. A um, couple of fun things I've done with this is I've put a little barrel extension onto it and taken the flash hider off or the amplifier off, and then I'm getting my suppressor onto there or um, my tracer on there, which is quite nice. And I've got, also got the Angel Custom Electric Drum Mag from uh, America, which is brilliant. And I'm using that instead of an M4 magazine, and obviously it's a hooligan, thousands of rounds. But let's get, give this one a little go. Actually looks like I'm getting a bit more range on this. Yeah, let's just put it on fully automatic. Oh, it's just a hooligan. Yeah, that is really nice. That's so much fun. So I'm actually playing indoors with this in a site that allows fully automatic indoors and it's just insane action. So um, let's have a look at the chrono and uh, let's see what happens there. Okay, so we're just gonna chrono the ARP9 first. We're using uh, ASG Blasters 0.2s. Okay, 
Okay, so we're getting around 210, 215 FPS on that. Now we're swapping over to the uh, 556. Pretty much getting around 328, 326 out of that. Nearly getting up to 330, so maybe another kind of 20 FPS maybe out of that. For another 50 pound or so. Okay, great. Right, let's have another chat about it. Okay, so we just chrono both the guns. Um, there's a slight difference between the two, 15, 20 FPS at the most. Um, the ARP 556 is a little bit quicker as well. Um, for £50, my recommendation is go for the 556 over the ARP 9. And you've also got the whole kind of geometry thing that the, the M4 mag is probably a bit more friendly to use than the stick mag. Lots of winding up on the stick mag. The fact that I don't need the extender on this gun, I can fit exactly the same battery in without having to spend an extra £20 on the extender as well. So thanks for watching. I really hope you like this gun. To do please like our channel and subscribe and share our films with your friends. Thanks for watching.